And they didn't call them concussions back then. It was, hey, you got your bell rung. So whether or not they were diagnosed as concussions, I can guarantee you that I've had a few. How do we teach this game and give confidence to parents who want to put their uh, young sons into football but aren't real sure? How do we go about doing that in, in, in today's modern understanding of medicine? If there's a way where we can make the game healthier, and that is the ambition here, uh, we want those, those challenges to come to the surface. True development only comes with repetition. You can't just practice it mentally, but you have to practice it mentally and physically. So the question in my mind was, well, how do we recreate those reps for our players, both at the college level as well as at the professional level? And I went back to my days in the Air Force and said, well, we do it in the Air Force with simulation training. The thing about virtual reality training right now is that there are a lot of great pieces of hardware out there and most folks have probably heard of the Oculus Rift over the last three years. The problem with that is most of those are tethered to a PC. So you're experiencing this immersive VR visual, but you're not really interacting dynamically with the VR environment. And immediately I was like, that cannot happen in football. Football is a highly dynamic movement game. You have to think while you're moving as fast as a human can possibly move. So it had to be wireless. First and foremost, it had to be a wireless platform. Being able to train individual positions, uh, to be able to do it at any time during the year, the depth, the imagination, the quality, and more importantly, the realism that's involved, uh, it's, uh, it's extraordinary. And now as a coach, Coach Calhoun can, can create all kinds of various scenarios and throw at this player and make him not only mentally react, but physically react as well. And right now, there's nobody doing that on the market.